welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. In the last episode, we had a couple of, I think we had like just one small skirmish. Um, but we spent a lot of time in, in doing logistics, so we now have a second fleet up and running. Cost us an awful lot because I rush built everything. Um, but now we have two, two fleets. So we've got one fleet moving down here to defend this area and our second fleet is moving over here to Helios Delta uh, so we're gonna have so, uh, one in the Alpha sector one in the Delta sector um, we will be doing this research center but it's like it's it's just a level one now uh, it's of almost no concern um, we do have Cylon threats over Tauron and Liber, uh, Libron, um, but that's fine. That's fine. We will we will be dealing with that. Um, the Tauron one's going to be dealt with pretty quickly, but Libron is sort of like just out of our range. Set condition one throughout fleet. Okay, so what we can do now because we have multiple fleets is we don't necessarily actually have to be involved in fights we can auto resolve and it will let you know like what the chances are of actually winning that fight so i think a lot of these side fights if it's sort of like got a hundred percent chance like this one i'm just going to auto resolve it it should gain us sort of experience and everything like that and you know there we go we've got victory everything should be fine um I don't know if that fleet needs repairing. And this is where the difficulty that I chose to begin with does come into play because the repair costs for a fleet on the fly, if I remember right, like it, it costs more time, it costs more tilium. Whereas the ones with Daedalus, because the Daedalus station is a repair station, obviously it's sort of like not an issue. But we're gonna we're gonna be jumping in here to the very first mission of the broken alliance campaign um the the main reason that i want to do this is because yeah, there's a carrier on the line i want to get a carrier as i know the carrier is not like a proper carrier carrier it's a converted uh frigate okay so coming in and um, we have an awful lot of play um so if as as you can notice we've got what three main traders contacts and there are multiple satellite contacts multiple satellite contacts so i'll have to see what happens with all this Hopefully this shouldn't be too hard. I think my fleets are overpowered for Fleet one. group That's is jumping right in now. three, two, one. Jump complete. Hostile Dreadus marks already on the board. The research ship is responding and active. It's peculiar to see a Vardmodia ship so far from home. Their drone technology isn't so radical that they need help from the Aquarians. It's possible that was just a front. Maybe some rogue techs looking for refuge before the Quorum passes its AI ban. I don't think so. In that regard, Virgis has more to be concerned about than these folks. They're drone enthusiasts at best. More interested in actuators than processors. Either way. Commander, proceed as planned. This may be a rare lucrative day for Colonial Fleet. Okay, so you saw the research vessel. That is the. I can jump over here actually. I think the research vessel was over here somewhere. Um, but the research vessel we saw. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're going to have to get over to this pretty fucking quick. This is a carrier. Um, I don't know what that does but like typically this is like a uh, civilian hauler converted into a carrier so 
This is fine. I think it's got plating to sort of shrug off damage. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, we've got two sets of guided missiles. It might just be a missile boat. Yeah, it might just be a missile boat at the moment. So what I want to do is I want to put these, put my manticores on and intercept. Yes, course. sir. And I'm going to start bringing my capital group over. So we're we're going to try and match, uh, like get the yes, get sir. the fleets to meet up so that these have protection. I'm not sure what we have. At the moment, um, in fact, I'm thinking if we problem is is like you have to be like you have to be right in the middle in order to maintain like engines to maintain uh, sensor distance. Yeah, there's definitely something going that way. Okay, so what we have, uh, two revenants here. This is probably a third revenant. Probably a third revenant. So, that is actually perfect. So, I don't need to worry at all about missiles. So, let's just throw everything into, into attack. And I am going to bring these round these could these um, these can fire like as they pass so yeah that's I'm, I'm not bothered about them uh, these on the other hand uh, let's see if I can get both of these I'm going to have them Come over here and like as they launch fighters, I'm then gonna have like them break off and attack the fighters. Um, gonna focus fire on this one, and we are going to fire all of our missiles at this one. Missile tubes prepped. Uh, and these two uh, can fire their munitions at this one. Okay. There's one single pressure lock between those pilots and cold space. Deck condition one, I repeat. Uh, Berserk is taking damage. This is not a drill. Commander, multiple new Dratus contacts. Blizzard. So what we're probably gonna I know now that this is a carrier. Hundred percent know that's a carrier. So what I'm gonna have is these Yes sir. Taking on that. This should be okay. System repairs underway. Go for armory and I'm gonna put you into defense. And in fact I'm gonna just start No 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 that should actually be fine as is. That, that'll be fine as is. I mean, it's armor shredded. Yes, sir. Again, it's it's not a big deal. Yes, sir. My main focus is making sure that I can get because his one fighter group is over here. We're engaging. Um, these are probably more. They, these are either raiders or they're more fighters. As it stands, we're just burning hull on that one now. And this one should be hurting a lot in a minute. But until until I can see them. Berserk I'm not is be able taking to. damage. Adjusting shot by point one six. So we Fire. heard that pretty bad. That's dead. We've lost a berserk, sir. Oh. Oh, that went down pretty fucking quick. That's a problem. I mean, their fire group should still be there, but... 
that's going to hurt us because I'm going to need to replace that. But I'm, I'll replace it with a, an aura. I mean, they're good, but they're very squishy. But yeah, that's that actually really fucking sucks. Get him! Get him! Get him! Need to go down quite that quick. Manticore is taking damage. Now, let's swing the manticores around. Can't remember. Uh, one turn. And they should have one turn as well. So as soon as that happens, like, I was fine. But, I want that one. Oh, there's a, it's a munitions restock. Okay, well, I don't actually want to use it just yet. Because I'll be getting everything back in a minute. Alright, all of these fighters... Take him. The uh, problem is, th these fighters have nowhere to go. Honey. We're taking fire! more carriers so that at least one of these is another is another another carrier uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break off that attack Come over there and these two I want them to defend him right we're gonna start moving him around, like just slow boat him around. It's fine. Uh, okay, so these two can fire at that. And ooh. on it, Commander. Them to focus their fire on. Think now we want to deploy plating. Um, and in fact, I think that's pretty good. I wish he was in range for my, my other ship because that would have been nice. It on the left there. Okay. Launching drones. Ah, so that's what that is. Wait. So say okay. we all. That's cool. Supply raptors are ready. Yeah. Oh, so I can only. Okay. So it'd have to be. I've got four, four, turns. upper seven, targeting. Break, break, break! Set secondary battery, full attack mode, fire at will. How do I not see you yet? You are well within my greatest range. Okay. That's fine. I mean, he doesn't have any fights anymore, so his main thing is going to be, he's going to be attacking with other stuff
Hostile unit identified. Switching gun to manual. Ooh, Firing is solution is online. Ship. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's a carrier. Okay, that's fine. I've not seen that before. I'm guessing he's still only got one fighter unit. But he hasn't released, he hasn't launched any fighters. So that's interesting to me. I think they should burn him down pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, now the missiles are out. Let's um can stop burning yes, these round. And this should can turn around here. I mean we've 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 won. Um point there like there's just there is nothing they can do unless unless like the, there's they get another backup say like a fucking base star or something i think we're pretty much gold very fast little ship Understood. I got focus fire on that, yeah. And they've already got focus fire. So. Understood. He's pretty dead. All hostile marks are down. Celestra is secured and preparing to be boarded. Sweet, so we got ourselves a new type of ship. Just looks like it's a missile boat. Uh, but uh, well, missile slash support vessel. So that could be useful. I get like getting that off and getting it into the other plate. Really useful. Prince. Yeah, there we go. Celestra support ship. Um, I think it just provides armor and they're supposed to be guided missiles. That's fine. I mean, I've got plenty of research points. So I'll get up, grab that. Sure about the rest. Uh, Right, so Silent Fleet has gone from here now. Uh, I want to repair my fleet, but I also need to replace what I just lost. Um, and I actually have enough for another adamant, and I do want another adamant. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to build it's going to cost 220 to build that. So I want to build that. Oh, can I build another one? Yeah, 180. Yeah. So that's, if I leave it for three turns, like, it'll be fine. I need to repair the fleet. See what I mean, though? Because I'm not with the fleet. Insane amount to repair it. Jump there? No, that's out of range. Out of range. So I'm gonna have to jump. I have to jump through the jump points. No, 
that one's only 100 tillium. I believe it's 66, which means they, they're just going to have to chill for the moment. One of our allies is being attacked. I'm aware. So I can jump in and I can, I can deal with that. But again, they're just going to have to chill for a minute. Because I have no Tillium. So hopefully this gives me back a decent amount of Tillium. We have a new mission, Commander. So we've got the fortified now. That's fine. That's unfortified. I need to come in for that. That is level five. I'm not sure I'll be able to handle that. That's gonna go up because we're fortified there for the moment. That's great. That should give us some decent Tillium for the next minute. Sagittarius is faltering. Ah, uh, okay. I think I might leave them there for the moment. And if we jump. in for that. Okay, so I can just jump to there. Right. It shouldn't cost us that much. 150, yeah. I've plotted the jump coordinates, sir. So I can I can do both jumps. Okay. Right. I really wish I had my support ship. This might actually be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, um, just got my two adamants, and we have quite a few contacts as my display turns off great. I love it when my Xbox turns off and it turns off my display as well. Um, Yes, five contacts. It's going to be. I think this is going to be kind of tough, actually. Prepared to jump in three, two, one. Multiple Dreadus contacts, Commander. Scorpion Intel has already confirmed hostile bogies. I knew they were under pressure out here, but this is the worst I've seen the Scorpion shipyards. Incredible they can get anything done under these conditions. Do you have a carrier sat there, though? Hang on. Go over to this. Yeah, we've got, we've got a carrier. Two carriers. Just sat there. God, I love those fucking carriers. I would love to have those carriers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make sure that I keep the fighters off. Um, Launching fighters. Launch all my vipers. Launch all my vipers. Hmm. The question is. Do I have to get over there? I'm gonna. I am. I am just gonna rush in. Which is a bad idea. I know. I know full well this is a bad idea. But they're gonna go. I think they're going straight to this, this shipyard. Tubes are clear. Preparing payload. No, nope, no. Nope, I've got their attention. Sweet. Right. I can you to defend him or 
actually, if I just have all of them defending one of them, that'd be fine. Okay. Yes, sir. Put them into full attack mode. Put these guys into full attack mode. No, full defense mode. And I know that might seem weird, but what I want, because clearly the Cylons have better traders range than I do. IFF confirms unit is hostile. There's a carrier. There's a battle star. Escort clearance zone is active. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? They've got themselves a battle star. Ooh, that's going to be painful. Okay. Um. And select that target and take them out. Shit. Okay. Um. Focus him down. Let's focus him down. I would like to focus fire on that though. That I'm going to focus fire again. We're going to focus fire on him. We're going to get the carrier out of the way first. Um. Oh. Um, I want to select that. Understood. That's going to be another Raider Squadron, which means that's probably another carrier. He's going to have a Raider Squadron as well. On the plus side, I don't have to worry about. Yeah, I don't have to worry about missiles as much. Switching gun to manual. Reloading. He's got set missiles. He's Fighter set squadron missiles. is taking fire. Okay. Um, I'm not sure which one they're aiming at. I still want to just slow boat. Possibly this one, uh, but I've got I've got another turn before they actually come in. So as soon as this is down, these are going to be focused on the battle star. We have to take that battle star out. Um, if I knew there was going to be a battle star in this mission, I probably would have brought some raptors to see if we could add. Missiles incoming! We're going to hammer the frackers so they can't That's get back up. In. God damn it, they got me! Commander, I'm seeing hostile contacts not engaged in the fighting. They appear to be scouting the Scorpio fleet's wreckages. They'll be scavenging for ammunition. Destroy the wreckages before the Cylons can turn our own slugs against us, Commander. Commander, a word? I don't often have the luxury of investigating field damage. A few moments of footage before you destroy those hulls could provide invaluable data. Well, that's great, Everfin. Focus fire on that. Let's turn our attention here. Okay. Uh, we don't have any munitions. No, we're not going to have them for two turns. And they're not going to have them for two turns. But what I can do is all of these. Actually, no. I, I'm, I just want to get this revenant down. Uh, the, the we're taking down. sustained fire. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Okay. 
Now we have a second one up. I want you to focus on that. The the Vipers should be able to take out the small ships without problems. Um, we are we are burning this down now. So just want to keep him in him in range. Just use my missiles actually. So if we can actually, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll use our missiles to take that down and keep them firing on that. Adjusting shot by point zero six. Fire! They're in our subsystems, Captain. Attempting to flush network. Good, 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 good. Sweet. All right, he is fucked. That is fucked. Which means I can now turn these this way. So, I can't use missile on that. Okay. Fine, actually, I can. Use a missile on that. I'm wondering if I can. Can I select this with these? No. I think I've just got to be in range of it. do is I'm going to select that at least now I know these are these are carriers take that unidentified and I want to take that unidentified once they're dead be fine I'm not sure what to do about that I just type group. That's again like it's fine. That is going to be dead. So, what I want to do is now come up. Right, he's now, he's basically fucked. Need you to go full defensive. I'm gonna have you over here. Now, these two haven't been hurt, so I want you to break off and go this way.
that I know what to do about these. do anything about them. I don't know if I've just got to defend these or what I've got to do with them. Not today, Fracker. Not today. Escort I mean, I can't, clearance I can't zone target. Priority one is a safe hand. That's um, my big issue here. This fire squadron, this fire squadron. I want to just boost, boost the engines of these because I want to get them into range. I mean, without fighters, these things are pretty much dead in the water. Can't do anything till the subsystems repaired anyway. Commander, I gave you an order. Sir, the commander was following up on a request from Sinan for damage reports before. Mr. Quaid is not in command of this fleet, Lieutenant. Destroy those wreckages now. Okay, okay. I have no problems with that. All right, all right, all right. On it, Commander. Perfectly fine. Right, you should have your fire control system back up and running, right? That's still being repaired. Okay. Subsystem repairs are complete. Right, so, I mean. Missile tubes prepped. That, uh, I can focus fire on that one. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual control now. Manticore is taking damage. One down. Fire on him. So say we all. Fire on him. There we go. Manticore is taking damage. What the f 
frack? Commander, all hostiles are disengaging. Admiral Kane isn't happy with us. But at least we stopped the Cylons from salvaging any more ammo from those Scorpion ships. Lucinda is becoming rash in her decisions. That was valuable data we could have used. She forgets she must prove the stability of Colonial Fleet to the Quorum. Well, if the Cylons keep running away, maybe you can finally finish building those Jupiters. And build us one while you're at it. We could do with the firepower. Right, Commander? I could do with the firepower, yeah. Um, it's a shame we had one, like, we only have one ship to take out. Um, it was pretty much dead to rights at that point. Um, but yeah, so, I can, I can repair my fleet now. Um, no, 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 no. Right, so, where's my, there, my stuff? What is that? That is the Horus. Yeah. So I want to transfer you to the Daedalus group. And then this one is my support ship. And the thing is, so you can only have one support ship per fleet. So I can't actually attach him to anything. And I don't want to jump him randomly. So, I'm still going to come, I'm going to bring this up here, uh, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to jump this ahead. What have we got? Right, so this should start uh, Sagittarius Fultry. This should start being okay. Oh, on. John Sagittarius. Wrong button. Thanos. Five on. Ah, Sagittarius. I'm not sure I can actually jump there. I can. Cost 160. I'm going to jump. In. I can also jump that because that should not cost anything. Um, do we have any more blueprints we can get? We can get a Ranger Cruiser 1350. Oh, or a battle. Okay, so I'm going to save up for, to get the Artemis battle stuff. Don't get me wrong, Ranger Cruiser is pretty cool. It's got a lot of turrets, so it, it can, as I said, long range dominance, so it's a skirmish fighter. Um, doesn't have any fighters of its own though, so it's just missiles and guns. Very, very powerful, very, very good force multiplier. Um, I can now get uh, the, the Viper Mark IIs, which are useful, don't get me wrong, but I want myself a battle star. Battle stars are just insanely good. Um, I mean, this one's not amazing because it, as you saw in the last fight, it's only got like 90 hit points, and this one's got 120. So I think the the silence might have been using like a low end, like a, an already damaged one. Um, but just look at the armaments. Point defenses. It can create a firewall. But it can create like a flak firewall um, so it doesn't have to worry about missiles so uh, our, our squadrons we can have uh, vipers and we can have uh, raptors and raptors are really good because we can we can board targets and we can take over other targets so they'll be really really powerful um, later on in the game um, especially if we start coming across more battle stars and stuff like that we can nick the battle stars for our own flight groups uh, so yeah yeah uh, I'm going to go ahead with this. I think what I'm also going to do is if I can jump to Burgon. Because even, with even without support craft, that's going to be a really, really good thing. And I have a feeling I'm going to get into two fights here. Because Sagittarius, if we look on the intelligence report, Sagittarius has zero. There is nothing. So it's, it's falling apart. It, it's potentially going to come out of the um, Articles of Union. 
so we need to jump in, see if there's a fleet there, see if we can save it. The same with Vergon. We want uh, we want to come come over here. And, a high-level you know. Leonist diplomat has been ambushed by monotheist sympathizers and requires extraction. And what we can what we get from this is another Adamant traitor uh, frigate. Um, and at the moment, like we do have space for one more ship. We don't have the points for it, but we do have space for one more ship. And so what I might do is I might detach a uh, a corvette and sort of like just burn it down just to get in that but for now i'm going to leave that here because it's been kind of action-packed uh we've, we've had some good offensives and we've got a lot more of uh the system under uh, helio system under control so until next time guys